Ladies and gentlemen, Padma Shri Vikku Vinayak Ram. Accompanying him on the violin, Shri T.H. Gurumurti. Tavil, Sunil Kumar. Vikku sir's grandson, Swaminathan, who played the Kanjira, Konakal and recitations. A. Ganeshan. Mor Singh and N. Raja Raman, Geta Vadyam. May I please invite onto the stage to present flowers to the artist, Chairman Shri C. R. Gare Khan, Vice Chairman of the Delhi Kendra Bharti Vidya Bhavan, Srimati Uma Vasudev, Srimati Surendra Saini, Chairperson of the Mehta Vidya Bhavan and Professor N. N. Pillay, Principal SP College, to please come onto the stage to felicitate the artists. That is Vikku sir's grandson and his uh, Selva Ganesha's son. A. Ganesan, Mor Singh and N. Raja Raman, Geta Vadyam. क्लासिकल भजन ठुमरी डाबरा भजने सभी कुछ आता है और ऐसा चैनल बहुत मुश्किल से होता है सब जगह तो सिर्फ सीरियल्स होते हैं मगर इस चैनल में गाना बजाना हम सुनते हैं और उसके हम बहुत शुक्रगुजार हैं मैं एक भरतनाट्यम में क्या बना हूँ और जब मैं नृत्य करती हूँ किसी थिएटर में तो बहुत ही 400-500 लोग मुझे देखते हैं लेकिन दीदी भारती के माध्यम से करोड़ों लोग इस नृत्य का आनंद उठा सकते हैं और मैं अपनी कला को करोड़ों लोगों तक पहुंचा सकती हूँ ये बात सोच के मैं बहुत खुश हो जाती हूँ 
दीदी भारती यू आर द बेस्ट आई एम अ ग्रेट एडमायर ऑफ वॉट्स हैपनिंग टू दीदी भारती टूडे और हमेशा मुझे यही लगता है कि एज कम्पेयर टू द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स वी एज टू हैव इन द पास्ट दीदी भारती हैज स्टार्टेड डिवाइजिंग वंडरफुल प्रोग्राम्स प्रोग्राम्स विच हैव इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोग्राम्स विच गिव वेरी रेलिवेंट डिटेल्स ऑन वेरियस फैक्सेट्स ऑफ द आर्ट फॉर्म्स टू यंगस्टर्स एंड इट इज डन इन अ वे विच इज नॉट जस्ट इंफॉर्मेटिंग बट ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी एंटरटेन हमारा यू एस पी है हमारा कल्चर हमारी सभ्यता हमारी संस्कृति और डी डी भारती एक इकलौती चैनल है इस पूरी पूरी दुनिया में जो केवल इंडियन कल्चर को प्रमोट करने की आ, कामना रखती है तो जानिए हमारी संस्कृति को हमारी सभ्यता को देखिए डी डी भारती डी डी भारती को देख के मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है क्योंकि सारे चैनल से अलग है I encourage the youth to watch DD Bharati more regularly as it is more informative and qualitative than other channels that focus on single issues. The nation is rich in music, dance, theater, our stories. We watch it, we observe it, we learn from it, and then let's hope it will enable us to give back to the nation. Didi Bharti has played a great role in this mission and I'm hoping that Didi Bharti will inspire us all to repay our debt and enrich the nation even more. Didi Bharti as a channel, we have so many cultural activities, cultural programs. It's a channel that is our club. जो हमारे इंटरेस्ट के हैं तो आई लाइक टू वॉच ओनली डी डी भारती मोस्ट डी डी भारती इज ओनली द चैनल विच इज कम्प्लीटली कमिटेड टू भारत कल्चर भारत इज अ कंट्री यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस डिफरेंट कस्टम्स एंड डिफरेंट कल्चर एट द सेम टाइम दे आर ऑल यूनाइटेड एंड डी डी भारती इज यूनिफाइंग देम अगेन एंड अगेन टू टेल द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ अवर कंट्री ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड भारतीय के प्रोग्राम जो अगर आप कभी सुने तो उसमें क्लासिकल भजन ठुमरी दादरा गजलें सभी कुछ आता है और ऐसा चैनल बहुत मुश्किल से होता है सब जगह तो सिर्फ सीरियल्स होते हैं मगर इस चैनल में गाना बजाना हम सुनते हैं और उसके हम बहुत शुक्रगुजार हैं मैं एक भरतनाट्यम नृत्यांगना हूँ और जब मैं नृत्य करती हूँ किसी थिएटर में तो वहाँ पे 400-500 लोग मुझे देखते हैं लेकिन दीदी भारती के माध्यम से करोड़ों लोग इस नृत्य का आनंद उठा सकते हैं और मैं अपनी कला को करोड़ों लोगों तक पहुँचा सकती हूँ ये बात सोच के मैं बहुत खुश हो जाती हूँ दीदी भारती यू आर द बेस्ट Uh, I am a great admirer of what's happening to D.B. Bharati today. And I always think that as compared to the kind of things we used to have in the past, D.B. Bharati has started devising wonderful programs. Programs which have information, programs which give very relevant details on various facets of the art forms to youngsters. And it is done in a way which is uh, not just informative but also very uh, very entertaining. Hamara U.S.P. hai, hamara culture, hamari sabhyata, hamari sanskriti. And hamesha mujhe yehi lagta hai ki us compared to the kind of things we used to have in the past, D.B. Bharati has started devising wonderful programs. Programs which have information, programs which give very relevant details on various facets of the art forms to youngsters. And it is done in a way which is not just informative but also very um, very entertaining. occasion our chief guest Dr. Kapila Vatsayam ji 
वो आ रहे हैं जी उनकी जो नवील चेस Ladies and gentlemen, on stage we have the two great musicians, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya and Ustad Abdul Rashid Khan. Ustad Abdul Rashid Khan is a centenarian. We'd like to welcome on this occasion our chief guest, Dr. Kapila Vatsayan, we'd like to say a welcome with flowers. <laughs> flowers to welcome Dr. Kapila Vatsayan. Thank you, ma'am, for being with us today. Very special day. And to welcome, in words, may I invite Shri Ashok Pradhan, uh, director of the Delhi Kendra of Bharti Vidya Bhavan, and really, in a way, the architect of this uh, music festival, music Sangeet Samaro. Shrimati Kapila Vasayam, Chief Guest of the Day, Harfsa Chaurasya Ji, Abdul Rashid Khan Sahib, our Chairman Gare Khan Sahib, Dignity in the front seat, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great day for us while celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan and 125th birth anniversary of its founder, K. Manshi Ji. We have the pleasure to welcome Sri Bhutti Kapila Vasayan, the doyen of Indian culture and a great Indologist. Sri Bhutti Kapila Vasayan currently is heading a IIC Asia project. In earlier occasions, she is the founder director of the Indira Gandhi's National Center of Arts. She has been secretary in the Ministry of Education and has written copiously on Indian culture, various aspects, India's music, art, Bhutmuti's Nati Shastra, and has been a member of Parliament Rajya Sabha from 2006 to 2012. In spite of I'm so I wouldn't say in spite of, but I would say that advanced in age, she continues to contribute by her writings, lectures, occasional papers to the treasure of Indian culture. And she is today one of the most acknowledged personalities who has contributed immensely to the Indian culture in India and abroad. Today, on behalf of the Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan's Delhi King and my own, I must express my gratitude to her and share it with you that the seminar which we released on 6th, on the opening day of the Samaro, on Bharat Mandi's Nati Shastra, has been the result of her guidance and her benign hand to the Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan and to the editor, Mr. Bharat Kupta, and myself. And that is the result of the, our efforts, but her guidance all through. We are grateful to you, ma'am, for your kind help and guidance. And we, have, we believe and hope that in the future also you will continue to help us in these ventures. With these words, I welcome once again Kapila ji, Harfda Chaurasya ji, Abdul Rashid Khan sahab, and you all who have made this possible. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Pradhan. As has been announced already, normally we do one Shikhar Saman 
on the occasion of uh, uh, of the Sangeet Samaro. But this year, because it is 75 years of the Bhavan's life, we will be doing a special one-time award, uh, which is the Platinum Jubilee Award of the Bharti Vidya Bhavan. Dr. Vatsayan, I will request you to please do us the honors of presenting the two awards. I will read the citation first for the Bhavan Sangeet Shikhar Saman for the year 2003, which is being awarded, uh, conferred on uh, 2013, sorry, which is being conferred on Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya ji. In an interesting coincidence, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya was born in Allahabad on the 1st of July 1938, the same year that the Bharti Vidya Bhavan was founded. He began his musical pursuit at the age of 15, learning first vocal music from Pandit Raja Ram, and thereafter he switched to the flute which he learned from Pandit Bholanath, a noted artist. This training carried on for eight years. In 1957, he joined All India Radio Katak as both performer and composer and began his musical journey. As part of his career with All India Radio, he was transferred to Mumbai in 1960, which turned, to be, turned out to be an interesting turn in his life for he received guidance from the legendary Surbahar player Srimati Annapurna Devi, daughter of the late Ustad Alauddin Khan and sister of Ustad Ali Akbar Khan, which greatly enriched his own style. Pandit Hari Prasad Chauresya has featured in almost all major musical festivals of the country and has performed internationally at the most prestigious venues. He has won appreciation from distinguished musicians such as Yehudi Menuhin and Jean-Pierre Rampal. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia has a rare combination of innovative and traditionalist skills. He significantly expands the expressive possibilities of the classical North Indian flute by having an equal strength on not just the classical stream but also the folk and popular music as well as western music. In collaboration with Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma, the duo of Shiv Hari have given memorable music to films that are significant and have won awards as well. He has shared the stage in Jugal Bandis with the great icons of music some of whom are Pandit Jasraj, Pandit, uh, Pandit Shiv Kumar Sharma, Ustad Zakir Hussain, Dr. Balamurli Krishna and Srimati Kishori Amonkar. He has also held his own with Western artists like John McLaughlin, Jean Garbrek, Larry Coriel, Egberto Gismonti and many others. Out of these interfaces, several iconic albums have been born. He has also to his credit, several albums on Indian classical music, thematic music, music for meditation, bhajans, and folk music. He is a dedicated guru and runs two gurukuls in Mumbai and Bhuvaneshwar. In the traditional Guru Shishya Parampara, he transmits the knowledge to his new generation students. He is also the artistic director of the Indian Music Department at the Rotterdam Music Conservatorium. Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya has been recognized as a great musician, great son of India, and many national and international awards have been conferred on him, including honorary doctorates. Among the more noteworthy awards are the Sangeet Natak Academy Award, 1984, the Maharashtra Gaurav Puruskar, 1990, Padma Bhushan, 1992, Konark Saman, 1992, Kalidas Saman 1999, Padma Vibhushan 2000, Ustad Hafiz Ali Khan Award 2000, Master Dinanath Mangeshkar Award 2004, and the office, Officer in the Order of the Orange Nassau Netherlands, which is the Netherlands Award for 2008. He has also been conferred the Arts and Letters Award from France, as well as the prestigious Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship in 2012. In recognition of his outstanding contribution to Indian classical music, Bharti Vidya Bhavan honors Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya with the Bhavan's Sangeet 
Shikhar Saman for the year 2013, which is significant as its platinum year. Ma'am, may I request you to please present this award to Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya. The scroll contains the citation that was read before you and the purse. Thank you very much. I will now request, after the photo opportunity, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasya to address us on this occasion. पुरस्कार मिलने में सभी को खुशी होती है और मुझे बहुत ज्यादा खुशी होती है क्योंकि मुझे इतने पुरस्कार मिले हैं और पुरस्कार से ज्यादा सभी का आशीर्वाद मिला है सोता गणों का तो मुझे बहुत आनंद आता है और मैं चाहता हूं कि ऐसे ये परंपरा हमारे भारत में ही है कि सभी लोगों को कलाकारों को सम्मान दिया जाता है सरकार की ओर से दूसरे भी जितने संस्थाएं सभी ओर से सम्मान दिया जाता है जो कहीं किसी देश में नहीं मिलता तो मैं बड़ा भाग्यशाली हूं कि मैं भारत में पैदा हुआ हूं भारतीय हूं और खासकर भारतीय विद्यालयों का मेरा संपर्क बहुत पुराना है और जब मैं लंदन में पहली बार मुलाकात हुई थी आपसे जिनकी आप तस्वीर देख रहे हैं आप एम्बेसडर थे भारतीय विद्यालयों से मेरा बहुत पुराना नाता वहां से भी रहा है लंदन से न्यूयॉर्क से भी बहुत पुराना नाता रहा है और बॉम्बे से तो है ही है फिर बेंगलोर से और आज दिल्ली से भी हो गया और मैं बहुत बहुत आभार का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच I'd just like to mention that this year too, as in previous years, the purse contains a sum of one lakh and it is a small sum to be known as a member of the Bharti Vidya Bhavan family and for the Bharti Vidya Bhavan family to recognize you as their own. Uh, I'd like to now do the citation for the next award, which is uh, the award, the Platinum Jubilee one-time one award. And this is being conferred upon Ustad Abdul Rashid Khan. Uh, Ustad Abdul Rashid Khan is the senior most living representative of the traditional Gwalior Gharana of Hindustani classical music, a direct descendant of Mia Tan Sen, the famous court musician of Emperor Akbar. Khan Sahab has himself served as a court musician in different native states before and after independence. He was born on August 19th in 1908 in a family of musicians. He received exclusive training in music from his father, Ustad Chote Yusuf Khan, and later from his father's elder brother, Ustad Bade Yusuf Khan. He was also deeply influenced by other greats of his gharana, like Ustad Chand Khan and Ustad Mahtab Khan. By dint of sheer hard work, 
and extraordinary skill, Kansab further developed the style of his forefathers, adapting it to suit his own aesthetic sensibility. Apart from Khayal, Khansab sings Thrupad, Dhamar, Thumri, Kajri, Hori, Dadra, etc. with equal versatility. He is known for his deep resonant voice and despite the years he still retains that voice. He is also known for his ability to retain the purity of a raga. He has created innumerable compositions over the decades under the pseudonym Rasan Pia. Khan Sahab's CD albums titled Rasan Pia in four volumes and Jyoti Swara have been widely accepted by audiences all over India and overseas. He has been a regular performer on All India Radio and Doordarshan for several decades and has participated in almost all the major music festivals in India. His rare and traditional compositions have been archived by BBC London, Iraq Radio and the Ford Foundation. For the last 15 years, he has toured throughout India to teach and perform for Spikmake. A dedicated teacher, he has the distinction of having trained numerous students and is presently the guru at the ITC Sangeet Research Academy, Calcutta. He is the recipient of several awards and titles. He was conferred the title Ras Sagar, Sangeet Maharishi, Bandish Samrat, Sangri, Sangeet Sartaj by reputed organizations. For his contribution to Indian classical music, he received the State Sangeet Natak Academy Award Uttar Pradesh in 1981, the ITC Award in 1994, Kashi Swarganga Award in 2003, the Sangeet Natak Academy Award in 2009, and the Bhualka Award. The Government of Delhi has also given him a Lifetime Achievement Award in 2013. The very same year, he was conferred with the Padma Bhushan. In recognition of his invaluable contribution to Hindustani classical music, Bharti Vidya Bhavan presents Ustad Abdul Rashid Khan, the Kulapati K. Munshi Sangeet Saman on the occasion of the Bhavan's Platinum Jubilee and to mark Kulapati K. Munshi's 125th birth anniversary. Ma'am, may I request you to please do us the honors once again. I request Khan Sahab to say a few words on this occasion. Mike Zara Dijiga, please. Mike Dijiga. मैं इस अदारे का भारतीय विद्या भवन का बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार और बहुत ही एहसानमंद हूँ कि उन्होंने मुझे नवाजा और मुझे बुलाया और मुझे इज्जत दी ये उनका बड़ापन है 
क्योंकि मुहर्रम शुरू है इसलिए मुसलमान गायक ये बारह तेरह रोज नहीं गाते हैं यही मजबूरी सामने आन पड़ी रह गया ये कि भारतीय विद्या भवन ने बुला के मुझे जो इज्जत दी है उसके लिए मैं बहुत बहुत शुक्रगुजार बहुत बहुत आभारी हूँ जब तक बिका न था तो कोई पूछता न था जब तक बिका न था तो कोई पूछता न था अब तुमने खरीद कर मुझे अनमोल कर दिया इसका मैंने ब्रज भाषा में ट्रांसलेशन किया है कि रसन बिकाए बाजार माँ रसन बिकाए बाजार माँ के ना ले वे कोई मोल और तुमने सैया कीन के मोहे कर दीनो अनमोल सब कर रहे राम भजन हम करी सैया सैया सब कर रहे राम भजन हम करी सैया सैया और सबके भगवान हैं हमरे को सैया सैया जौन सुख तुहका मिला ओका तुम जानो लक्ष्मण राम के ठनिया गए पहने पनहिया सैया अब इसके आगे मैं और क्या कहूँ उम्र का सगाजा है कि अब कुछ न करूं मगर ये ईश्वर की महिमा उसकी मर्जी उसका उसका देन उसकी देनी यह है कि अभी मैं आप लोगों के सामने हाजिर हूं और खल खुदा की खिदमत कर रहा हूं बस इसके आगे मुझे और कुछ कहना नहीं है Thank you very much. I think by accepting the Dr. K. Munshi Sangeet Saman, you have done us proud, sir. We'd like to thank you for doing us the honor. I'd like to thank uh, our chief guest for doing the awards. And finally, uh, I request that the Honorable Chief Guest, whom we've waited to hear for a long time, speaks on this occasion and addresses us. Ma'am. Bhai Chinmay Ji, Ashok Ji, आदरणीय उषाद राशिद भाई और हरे प्रसाद चौरसिया कहूँ या बंसी धर वाले चौरसिया कहूँ <laughs> मुझे आपने बुलाया ये मेरे लिए एक बहुत बड़ी गौरव की बात है क्योंकि ये ना चीज इन चीजों के सामने क्या है और जिस संगीत की परंपरा को दोनों ही कलाकार संजो कर उसको सुरक्षित रहकर और उसी में से जो अनेक धाराएं निकलती हैं बहती हैं वही भारतीय संस्कृति का मूल स्वभाव है कि वो बहती रहे 
और वो कभी स्थिर होकर नहीं टिके और भारतीय संगीत जो आपने अभी पहले भी सुना और जो बरसों तक हम लोग सुनते आए हैं ये दोनों व्यक्ति ये दोनों कलाकार उस संगीत के प्रतीक हैं जो कि भारतीय संस्कृति की जो धारा है और उसका जो प्रवाह है जो अनेक रूप अनेक रूप प्रतिरूप है लेता है किन भवनों में से निकलता है लेकिन बहता रहता है उसमें धारा और परिवर्तन और निरंतर एक जो कलाकार की असमिता है 